What's up for discussion? It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? It is not the eyes that I fear, it is the intelligence behind them. The absolute is merely the outward form of something far more insidious. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate, and his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. And just as then, he has more than one chosen to manifest his gruesome plot. He has Orin, and he has you. I see that. You have at least a measure of self-control. But Paul's inheritance is not shrugged off so easily. The heart of a ball spawn is a flipped coin that lands on its edge. Yours is a family set on self-slaughter. When there are two or more, they will destroy one another until a single heir to the throne of blood remains. In times gone by, there was an errant-hearted ball spawn who stood against his foul father and brother, Saravok. Optimist that I am, I hope you are of similar heroic vintage. I believe you will be. And I'd like to help the only way I know how, with a guidebook. This one did not flow from my quill, but from that of the wizard Irenicus. It is a study of the Slayer and may give you a much needed edge when you face Baal's Chosen. The Dream Eater. It is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. A genius exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Irenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped. But not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Two or three at most. <laughs> 